In this week's episode, New Zealand on a Plate visits the spectacular wild and rugged regions of Southland and Queenstown. Local chef Ben Batterbury meets up with Paul Mercurio, who's visiting from Australia. Paul's a top celebrity and passionate foodie. Well, cheers. Cheers. Welcome to Southland. Invercargill, never been here before. No. It's a little bit strange, isn't it? Um, it's, there's a Pom and an Aussie, and we're about to go on this, this amazing food journey. I know. Because yeah, you've been here 11 months. I've been here 11 months now. Um, came from obviously England, you know, can't hide that. Yeah, it's uh, the accent, mate. Yeah, it gives it away, doesn't it? Yeah. Together, they're going to cook up some fine fare as they explore the region and find out where the raw ingredients come from. You know, the stuff down here, the produce and things really good, and um, there's some good, you know, artisan people, and I'm sure we'll see quite a few today as well. Yeah. They sample some fabulous cheese made from sheep's milk and meet the gorgeous girls that produce it. I'm talking to the wrong end. They make a flying visit to a high country station. And how do you like to eat your sheep? Cool. And find out why wine and chocolate are the perfect match. And of course, people go for it because it's different. Yeah, it should be different. In Southland, sheep are king of the hills. But while most farmers raise sheep for their meat and wool, at Blue River Dairy, they specialise in doing things differently turning sheep's milk into cheese. So today we're making a pecorino-style cheese, which is an Italian type of hard cheese. And we can see here that the, um, the rennet has already been added to the milk. And, and that's what sets it, right? Absolutely, the curd is starting to form. So yeah. if you just um, just have a test, you can, you can feel that it's starting what to get hard. What are we looking hard, for? That it's, quite, that's hardening. That's ready to be cut now. And how long does this process take? Not very long, probably um, about 20 minutes since it's um, had its starter culture added upstairs. So and the, and you, you cut the curd so as to release the whey, is that it? Yeah, pretty much. So you're the whey so, raisin, yeah. Yeah, so the curd is, the curd is what we'll, um, we'll be making the cheese from. Can you so eat this? You can. Tastes like um, sheep's milk. Funny doesn't yeah. really taste like cheese yet, does it? Not yet, so it will be quite rubbery at this stage. Mm. Um, and really it's the, the salting and the maturing and that those processes. It. And once the, um, the microbes and the enzymes in the maturing process yeah. get to do their thing, and that's when we get the full flavors of the Good. cheeses. Maybe I'd better taste some other cheese now to get rid of yeah. that. Now this is one of our September cheese, so you can have a little so taste the, of that. This is the pecorino. This is our pecorino. This one is pretty much ready to go at this stage. Uh, um, we'll, we'll, we'll mature them for probably four, four or five months. Right. And then we'll be happy to sell them. Um, is that a minimum of four or five months, or would you leave it to mature more? You know, it's not a uniform process, so we'll be testing them every couple of months yeah. just to, to track the development of the flavor profile. Well, it's, a, it's kind of a live process, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, with the cultures and how it all works, so it must be each cheese must almost be different to some extent. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a good job. Right. Yeah, that's definitely great. some benefits. Can you so still taste the, the sheep milk mm -hmm. in there? Mm -hmm. A little bit of salt, the but not overly salty. Very yeah. subtle. Yeah. It's really yummy. Blue River Dairy has taken its inspiration from the Mediterranean and the Middle East, where the tradition of sheep milking goes back centuries. They've worked hard to develop New Zealand's sheep dairy industry. So we're going to um, have a milk? It's, it's, not the, it's not the most attractive side of, no, the, of no, lamb, I was is it? Just say, pick your sheep. victim. Yeah, pick your victim. Duncan, you're going to show us how to do it. And nice and gentle. There you go. Perfect. So, how much milk are you hoping to get out of these? Around about a litre, litre and a half a day. Did you guys actually invent all this stuff? Some of this has come from overseas, um, and some of it's Kiwi ingenuity. So yeah. We've, yeah, it's a bit of a combination, really. So. Oh, mate, you're going well. Three, 300 mils so far, and mm -hmm. I've only done uh, 280. Come on. Come on. It's not very good. <laughs> I'm talking to the wrong end. I've been told that these, uh, these sheep are Frisian, but they don't look cold. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bad joke. But... Oh, oh. So they're done. It's all that milk is given. So are they developed for milk, these yes. sheep? These sheep are. They're a breed, uh, mixture of two breeds, uh, Polos and East Frisian. And can you eat these as well? Like, are they good eating? Yeah, it's supposed to be. Yeah, I've not eaten yeah, one myself. You just keep but... milking them. Yeah. It's like a funfair raid, isn't it? The geese who when you will get off. <laughs> Cool. There you go, some of the best quality milk in the world. Thanks, mate. Thanks very much. This is the part of the show I love where I get to taste. Actually, it smells like milk. I think it was going to be a bit cheapy, but... Mm. 
That's nice. I thought it was going to be a little bit gamey or something or sheepy, but it's yeah. quite quite sweet. No, nice, sweet, it tastes creamy, 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 creamy too, you know. Yeah. I've had cow's milk that's nowhere near as creamy as that. So we've got our grilled halloumi, you're going to make a salad with that. That's it, we're going to, so we're going to do something really fresh and sort of summery and vibrant. All right. So we're using watermelon, which we're just going to cut into little bite-sized pieces. Um, so also we're going to add tomatoes, you know, a good combination with watermelon. We've just cooked this one a bit earlier. Have a, I want to have a taste of that. Cheers. Cheers. I love the gooiness. Mm. So obviously halloumi doesn't collapse because it's, it's been pre-cooked during the process. Mm. It's like squash melted cheese, basically. Right, yeah. But you've made this beautiful um, reduction. reduction yeah. what, what's in it? So obviously keeping with the central Otago theme, we've yep. used um, this Pinot Noir syrup from the Wild Walnut, which is a, a local sort of delicatessen oh, shop yeah. that makes these great sort of local products. Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir, you can't the, get more the than the wine of the region. Than. Exactly. Beautiful, I don't think I'd drink that. No, no, no. Um, and then just to help balance it out, we've used um, the blackcurrant vinegar as well. Mate. That's, that is absolutely um, gorgeous. Very uh, fruity. Now, just this one, mate. Are you, what do you reckon? There's a lot I of colour on that. I would say pull it to the side. You want me to pull it to the side? Yeah. One of the last ingredients with cucumber here. Right, so it's time to assemble. As they say, as they say. Mm -hmm. So in a bowl, we're just going to put the cucumber and a nice bit of watermelon as well. Yep. And then the tomato dice. Yep. And then one thing that uh, we did, we just toasted off some pumpkin seeds. Who tasted them? Uh, I believe you did. Thank you, mate. Uh, Glory Hunter. I tasted them. So finely shredded mint. Then we're just going to dress this with just a little bit of uh, rock salt. Oh, 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 nearly. That's good. <laughs> I mean, I tend to think that if you eat things raw, then uh, a good simple dressing is salt, sugar, uh, lemon juice and oil. We're just going to put just a tiny bit of this in as well, just so that the flavour, you know, goes all throughout the dish. No black pepper? Uh, no. Or did you forget yes, it? Yes, yeah, you, you, forgot, you rumbled me on that one, so, yeah. You forgot I to bring the black pepper. I did, yes, that's why I If you've got stopped. black pepper, put a bit of black pepper in. That's it, Just yeah, a little, you know. OK, next. So we're just going to spoon, literally, nothing flash. Spoon a bit of this onto the middle of the plate. What do you mean, nothing flash? I know. And then the halloumi, if we can just uh, slide that on top. And then we just lightly dress this uh, this rocket with just a little bit of olive oil. Syrup. Yep, so we just... Syrup, chef. That's it. Wild walnuts, the store you bought it from. Yes, yeah, they make all these sort of local deli oh. products themselves. What do you reckon, guys? OK. Well, looks, well, does it look good enough to eat? Oh, it absolutely <laughs> looks fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Good, mission accomplished. Brilliant. Well. Some salad. Fingers. Mm. Heaven. Mm, very good. The land is absolutely beautiful. I'm glad you like it. Wow. Mm. Well, it's your cheese. Of course, it's yeah. beautiful. <laughs> you want to keep him on. <laughs> you want the salad? <laughs> that's, what I like to all, that's how I like to see all my customers enjoy their food. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't live much, does he? <laughs>